This video tutorial will help you get started using the Wayside Publishing Learning Site with the Google Classroom integration. The Google Classroom integration with Learning Site allows you to easily share task, forum, and document assignments, as well as videos, flashcard activities, resources, and more using the Google Classroom Share button. To begin using the Google Classroom integration, you will first need to log into Learning Site. Here you will see the main sidebar menu and Explore Classes dashboard. The main sidebar menu provides quick access to Learning Site tools and features, such as your FlexText library, the integrated portfolio, the Instructional Strategies Toolkit, and professional learning opportunities. You can also access your profile page, stay up to date on Explorer class activity, and learn more about enhancements to Learning Site. The Help menu gives you access to guides, live chat, video tutorials, support center, and ways to contact us. The Explorer class dashboard is where you can access all your Explorer classes, view assignment data, and get performance rating totals. Use the quick links to directly access FlexText, engage with instructional materials and resources, monitor student progress, manage activities assigned on Learning Site, and adjust class settings. Select classes from the main sidebar menu to return to the dashboard at any time. Within each Explorer class, you will find a variety of instructional resources and activities. We will focus on sharing resources to create Google Classroom assignments, reviewing student submissions, and providing feedback for three common digital activity types, tasks, forums, and documents. When using the Google Classroom integration with Learning Site, you can customize how students access Learning Site content. Using the Share button will create a Google Classroom activity post with a link to the specific Learning Site activity or resource you want to share. Teachers and students can keep track of activities using Google Classroom tools and access submissions by using the link on the Google Classroom post. The Google Classroom integration with Learning Site provides options for managing assignments based on preference. You can choose to assign only on Learning Site using the Assign button, assign on Learning Site and also share the activity on Google Classroom using the Share button, or only share content on Google Classroom. Activities that are not assigned using Learning Site's built in assigning tools and only assigned on Google Classroom using the Share button do not appear on the Assignments page on Learning Site, but can still be accessed through the link on the Google Classroom post. If you would like activities to appear on the Assignments page on Learning Site, you will use the Learning Site's built in assigning tools. For more information on assigning activities on Learning Site, access the support resources available on the Help page or launch the tour by selecting the Can Do Owl icon from the Assignments page. The first time you select to post an activity or resource, you'll be prompted to connect your Google Classroom account to your Learning Site account. To share an activity or resource to your Google Classroom, first locate it on Learning Site. You can do this from the Explorer Content page or using the Flex Text Compass icon. From the Compass icon, you can quickly create a Google Classroom post by selecting the Actions button and choosing Share in Google Classroom. A pop-up window will appear that will allow you to create a post directly on your Google Classroom after following the prompts. Select a class and an activity type. Then select Go to be taken to the Activity Detail window. Once in the Google Classroom Activity Detail window, you will see that the title is pre-populated and there is a link attached that will take the teacher and students directly to the activity or resource on Learning Site. From this window, you can edit the title, assign to multiple classes or selected students, write directions, and add points or a due date if you would like. You can also choose to assign the activity immediately, delay a post, or save the assignment as a draft. Here are the steps for sharing content to Google Classroom using the Share button. Here are examples of both the teacher and student views of the same Google Classroom assignment created using the Share button on Learning Site. 
The link at the bottom of the assignment will take you or your students directly to the activity or resource on LearningSite. If you or your students are not logged into LearningSite, you will be prompted to do so. Since students will be completing activities on LearningSite, we recommend reminding students to mark the assignment as done on Google Classroom. This will help with organization and will also not cause a missing indicator on the assignment. To review task submissions and provide feedback, you will need to access the LearningSite gradebook located on the grades page. Auto-graded task scores will appear in the LearningSite gradebook immediately after submission. Manually graded task scores will appear after a score is entered using the Learning Site's built-in grading and feedback tools. By default, the filters are not all selected. You and your students will want to enable the filter under Activities to show Not Assigned but Attempted by Students, especially if you plan to assign tasks only on Google Classroom. Enabling this filter will allow you and your students to view task submissions that are not assigned on Learning Site. You can also export your gradebook at any time as a detailed CSV file by selecting Export Grades. When reviewing tasks, you will use the tools in the Learning Site Grading and Feedback window to provide written, audio, and video feedback to students, adjust grades, navigate between students, see submission details, and remove attempts. You can leave time-stamped comments on recorded submissions and use the Highlight tool on Written Student Work. There is also the option to add a performance rating to integrated performance assessment tasks and to long answer, audio and video recording, file upload, and comparative recording unit tasks. To review a student's task activity, access the Learning Site Gradebook on the Grades page from the quick link on your Explore Class dashboard or from the Actions button on the FlexText Compass icon. Select the title of the assignment to view all student grades and additional details. Select the Grade button to open the Grading and Feedback window. To go directly to the Grading and Feedback window from the Grades page, select a student score. You can also access student grades from the quick links in the individual task on the Explorer content page. Select Grades and then the Grade button to review student submissions and leave feedback. Another option is to access student submissions directly from the shared link on the Google Classroom post. Once on Learning Site, Select the Grades button to review student submissions and provide feedback. Your students can use the shared link on the Google Classroom post to review their submissions and any feedback you have left. They can also review submissions and feedback from the Grades page on Learning Site. They can also use the Add to Portfolio button to add their submission as evidence of their progress on Unit Can Do Statements. Once you have reviewed student task submissions, you can manually transfer grades from Learning Site into your Google Classroom gradebook. Forum activities encourage interpersonal communication and build classroom community. You can assign a forum activity on Google Classroom just like you did with task activities from the Explorer content page or the FlexText Compass icon. Select the Share button and follow the prompts. If you choose to share a forum activity on Google Classroom, you can review student submissions by accessing the forum through the link on the Google Classroom post. You can also access it on Learning Site from the Explorer content page or from the FlexText Compass icon. If you choose to grade the forum, you will enter your grades directly into your Google Classroom gradebook. Documents are fillable PDFs that can be used digitally or printed for in-person use. Documents can be assigned as a file upload task activity on Learning Site or added as a link or upload in a Google Classroom assignment. If you would like students to complete and submit a document assignment in Google Classroom, you will create a Google Classroom assignment that allows students to upload their completed work. You can use the Share button on Learning Site 
and create a Google Classroom assignment to have students directly access the document on Learning Site, copy and paste the URL link from Learning Site to the Google Classroom assignment, or you can upload the document directly to the Google Classroom assignment. Your students will access the document, use the built-in fillable sections, save their changes, and then upload their work to the Google Classroom assignment using the Add or Create button. You will review their submissions using the built-in Google Classroom grading tools. You can also access student submission uploads in the Google Classroom gradebook by selecting the hyperlink title. If you would like students to access and submit a document assignment directly within Learning Site, you will assign a file upload task activity using the Share button from the Explore content page or from the FlexText Compass icon. Students can either download the fillable document or open it within a browser window. If completing within a browser window, students can save their changes by selecting Save with your changes in Chrome or Export as PDF in Safari. Next, students select the Add File button within the task activity to upload and submit the completed document. Documents completed as a file upload task activity can be accessed on Learning Site the same way as other task activities. To review submissions inside the Grading and Feedback window, you can preview or access the student's completed work as a download or in a browser window. Once you have reviewed student submissions, you can manually transfer grades from Learning Site into your Google Classroom gradebook. As you continue to navigate Learning Site, Please remember that we are always here to assist you. Our help icon, the question mark you see in the bottom left corner of Learning Site, offers quick access to our guides, video tutorials, and support center. There are also a few ways to contact us, automated chat, email, and phone. Thank you for joining me for this Google Classroom integration tutorial. If you have any questions or would like more detailed information, please do not hesitate to reach out. Also, be sure to visit our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow Wayside Publishing on social media.